Hey guys, EBP Man here, and today we're going to talk about Wi-Fi issues and the issues that the Google Mini, Google Home could be causing in your home. Let's check it out. Now, I've really enjoyed having my Google Mini and Google Home throughout my home. Actually, I have uh, five Google Minis and one Google Home. But what I've noticed, and this is something, it's a defect that's now being documented and should be corrected sometime today, is that my Wi-Fi has become unstable ever since I got the Google speakers uh, throughout the home. And the symptoms of this problem are really hard to identify, and you probably would never think that it's being caused by your speaker. So let's talk about what are the problems that I'm experiencing, which are the same problems that everyone who has a Google Mini may be seeing in their home, yet you never thought that it would have been the speaker. So a couple of things uh, I've noticed when using the speakers in the house, and it, it, the problem isn't really with the speakers themselves per se, that they stop functioning, but more with the network. So a couple of things, I have a couple routers as I do a lot of testing. So I have a Linksys, I have an Asus, I have a TP-Link, and I actually have multiple models. And I found myself uh, changing them out because I noticed that my Wi-Fi stopped responding. So in addition to the Google Minis that I have through the home, I also have multiple desktops, laptops, uh, fire sticks, you know, things like that that are uh, all my connected devices. And they at times found that my Wi-Fi 5G and sometimes my 2G channels were not responding. So literally I saw in my Nest thermostat, it said that my 5G channel that it's connected to wasn't present, couldn't be found. Um, and when I would go into the router and look at it, the router said that it was still broadcasting and was fine. I also noticed that problem with my desktops. So some of my desktops uh, would be connected to the 5G band or 2G band. And what would happen is they would not have internet access. Yet I'd go to the router and the router says that I have internet access and connected. So what I would end up doing is I'd have to restart the router or restart my gateway from Comcast. And I was actually doing them and trying to figure out what's going on. So literally, um, over the last couple of weeks, I would swap from one Asus router to another, from a Linksys router to another, even a Netgear router to another, a TP-Link router to another, and have literally three routers going with various devices connected to them, trying to figure out what is causing the problem, why things are unstable. Well, finally, I uh, noticed that in one of the Google forums that it is actually the speakers themselves. So it looks like it, when the speakers are asleep and they wake up, they flood your routers with these requests that cause the router itself to become unstable and therefore stop responding. So Google has created a patch that should be coming out either tomorrow or in the next couple days that's going to resolve the problem. Now for those of you who are still experiencing this problem and have yet to see the patch, here's some advice. Uh, I've been restarting both my gateway, which is what I have in my home. I have Comcast, so that's what I'm connected to, and the router. So I use a separate router for my Wi-Fi because I, I'm looking for better coverage and the Comcast router doesn't cover that for me. So I used to restart them both. But what I've learned as I've been doing this is that the Comcast router or gateway is not it really impacted. It's the one that I have with the Wi-Fi that is. So all you have to do is if you find that your devices can't connect to a 2.4 channel or a 5 channel, then you need to just restart that router. Uh, in some cases, the routers have become unresponsive, so you, all you do is unplug it and replug it. Now, Linksys, Asus, TP-Link, all the manufacturers in Netgear, some of them are starting to create some patches to fix this. Uh, not all of them have it, so you may want to check and see if you have some firmware available that you can do the update. If not, then uh, you have a couple choices. Uh, if the network is really important to you and that instability is just very painful, I would disconnect the speakers and, until Google solves it. Uh, or, you know, just bear through the process and hope that today we get a fix. So I hope that helps you understand the Wi-Fi problem that we're having now and that's being caused by the speakers, the Google speakers, both the Mini, the Home, um, and potentially even the Macs. I don't have a Max in, in, in my studio uh, for testing, but they're causing this network instability. And I've already verified it with at least five friends and family members that have the speakers and they have all experienced the same thing. So that concludes this update. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can get updated of things like this and other reviews that are coming. And thanks for watching.